from Duke Street and Port of Spain, Nigel Williams is the new leader of the band. Bertram Kelman and Augustus Peters are the tuners. Full Extreme in 2017 by the Ultimate Rejects. Of course, Ultimate Rejects featuring MX Prime and arranged for the band by Leon Smooth Edwards. Let's take you stateside for Massey.
And number 10, Massey, Trinidad All-Stars, rocking the Savannah here like no other band has done. And certainly laying down the marker here for the others. And now it's really a question, which one do you like? Do you like the smooth, good morning, or do you like the bouncy, full extreme? I mean, the crowd says it all. The crowd says it all. <laughs> <laughs> <You're directed. laughs> well, Full extreme. <laughs> I warned Javel earlier, <laughs> and she didn't listen to me, that you don't write off a band like this until you've heard them play. And um, to me, what worked for them tonight was the timing of everything that they did. Even when hold they... one second. I think we have Leon Smooth at us. Oh, we have Clyde Telemark with us, so let's go quickly to video. Okay. Back. So let's go quickly to video and hear what Clive has to say. Hey, thank you very much, Ruskin. Just before we came on stage, one of the All-Stars fans was lighting incense. It wasn't Ruskin Mark this time around, but we do have Clive Telemark, who's been an integral part of the band. Clive, your thoughts on the performance, first of all? Well, I think we did all that we could possibly could have done tonight. You know, we are very satisfied for the whole, as I say, week and a half. We have been practicing until 4 or 5 in the morning, you know, and um, we make a few changes here and there, strengthen a few parts, and I think we executed the music the way that we wanted to execute it on a final night. Yeah, it, it's been very busy. In fact, uh, behind us, we're just being jostled on the stage, uh, but uh, certainly you did execute, uh, Ephraim. Yes, sir, yes. Clive. Yes. 2017, full extreme. Yeah. Uh, last year, Desperados are going at a different me. Um, we've seen the steel bands now going with the party songs. Tell me something about that. Well, I, I think um, the trend is, train is, is changing slowly. Now, Desperados showed that last year by taking a popular party song. The media have a way that when you do a song and it says it's represent a, a steel band, they put it on the shelf and they don't want to play it. You know, so since Ash Wednesday, I tell Smooth, I say, you know, um, <laughs> Let us yeah. look for a party song, you know, and try something different this year. After a successful five years, you know, we were two first, two second, you know, even, and four years, people showing even second. Last year, we decided to take a swing on it, you know, and I think this is how the panorama is going to go now. You know, everybody want to fall in love with the party song. In times gone by, you want to play a song, we have a lot of different chords progression. Right. But you take somebody who's very creative to work with, a song with two chords, Chord, in some I, cases I, one and a half. I was, just about, I was just about to ask you that because this is a, diff a difficult song for an arranger to take, you know, um, you know, because the chorus and to keep that energy, yeah. you know, it's very difficult. But you, from the introduction, you all kept that tempo yeah. and, you know, that feel like that, yeah. you know, we hold all them and walk them, you yeah. know, use that theme throughout. Yeah. yeah, and I think one of the one of the things that Smooth is very good at is using idioms and building around it, you know? You got two chords to play, but if you use different idioms, you add more flavor to the arrangement, you know, rather than just playing a flat verse, a fat chorus, you take a piece of a verse and just guys, you do whatever it is, same thing if it's a chorus interlude and... Right, you know? and I thought that that did that well, I mean, and that is generally the man Leon Smooth Edwards. Yes, he yes. can do that very well, and I thought he captured that well in this song, yeah. and um, you know, all the best. Yeah, thank you very much. No I want to say all the best to all of the bands as well, but regardless of how it turned out, we're jamming still. Yes. <laughs> okay. love. Congrats. Thanks very much to Clive Telemac for talking to us, and only, only some fancy footwork from Ephraim Sered kept us on the stage here. Ruskin, the occupational hazards of working at Panorama. Be careful, protect yourself at all times, is what they say in the ring, and I suppose on stage as well. But you were, you were describing uh, the performance there before we went off. Yes, I was saying that the timing of everything, even take a simple thing like the fireworks. Mm -hmm. When the fireworks came out, it was right as they were hitting a particular note. So it wasn't just fireworks for fireworks sake. It was timed with the arrangement. So whoever had to press that button, had to do it perfectly in time with the music. And to me, it was just a crescendo of music in, in the sense that it, the way they built up the, the tempo and the excitement to capture the audience and get that reaction coming to the end of the piece, everything that they did was built on a fantastic climax. Well, it certainly was an amazing performance indeed.